You're watching Sunrise on News 11, where news comes first. Welcome back to Sunrise. Well, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas took a trip to Yuma to see the impact of the ongoing border crisis firsthand. It's part of a three-day tour of the southern border in areas experiencing a mass surge of undocumented immigrants. This is also the first time a cabinet member with the Biden administration has been in our area. And our team was all over this one. And News 11's Arlette Youssef starts us off with an exclusive interview with the DHS secretary. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas meeting with Yuma County officials, nonprofit organizations, and Yuma Sector Border Patrol agents to understand the needs of our community as we continue to see a high number of undocumented immigrants cross the border into our very own backyard. We are building a humane, orderly, and safe immigration system. We continue to enforce the law, both the law of accountability and the law of humanitarian relief. We are doing so not alone, but in a bilateral and multilateral relationship uh, with other countries. We are dealing with irregular migration from beginning all the way through the process, bringing efficiency, order, and humanity throughout. This as hundreds of undocumented immigrants continue to cross into Yuma County daily. As you know, we, you know we've seen some increases over the last year and a half along the southwest border. And so it's important for us to be able to take this information back to Washington, D.C. and work on some of those issues. Secretary Mayorkas met with Yuma Sector Border Patrol agents. Some agents expressed that Yuma needs more help. Sources mentioned things got tense during the meeting with agents, but neither side wanted to speak on the matter. One of my uh, big priorities is to get out in the field, um, visit with the workforce, uh, communicate to them what we're doing for them and to hear importantly uh, from the workforce about what we what more we can do and what they're experiencing and I must say here in Yuma it's extraordinary the dedication and talent of the men and women of the United States Border Patrol and Chief Ortiz adds to the efforts so what we need to do is bring some connectivity between uh, the Border Patrol enforcement systems and the ICE enforcement systems and our enforcement systems with Health and Human Services, especially as we deal with some of the family units and the unaccompanied children. In addition to Yuma sector agents working tirelessly around the clock, resources for nonprofit organizations are going fast. And one of the things that we're very focused on with the nonprofit community is not only resourcing them, but also we've built an entire architecture where they can deliver services and then we can reimburse them for the costs that they incur through our FEMA program. Secretary Mayorkas is heading to Texas next to see how dire the situation is in El Paso and Laredo before heading back to Washington to report his findings to the Biden administration. Reporting in Yuma, Arlette Youssef. All right, thank you, all that great stuff. Well, among the many stops for the secretary, a meeting at Yuma Sector headquarters with local leaders. The mayor of Yuma and others got the chance to meet face-to-face -face and discuss how the border crisis is affecting the city. And News 11's Cody Lee continues our team coverage. Yes, we're hearing only a few key local leaders, including Mayor Nichols, took part in this meeting with the U.S. Border Patrol Chief and Secretary Mayorkas. The mayor feels more will now be done after the secretary's firsthand visit to Yuma. The secretary was able to actually see what goes on here, and specifically in the Yuma sector. It's totally different than Nogales and Texas and even California. During Secretary Mayorkas' day trip to Yuma, he sat down with city leaders to discuss what the needs are and how the federal government can assist in the process. Last December, Mayor Nichols issued an emergency proclamation due to a spike in undocumented immigrants coming across the Yuma sector border. We did talk about that proclamation during the meeting just to accentuate the, the change of the migration patterns here locally uh, and it's still in place. Nichols says they had a chance to talk about immigration policy and the messaging around it. Title 42 is something that is definitely you know still in place uh, and then Title 8 is still the, the law of the land and, and we agree that immigration law needed to be updated, which it has to be done through Congress. But he admits the migrant protection protocols, also known as the Remain in Mexico policy, is not doing much to help the sector. He indicated he'll have increased effort with the Mexican government to uh, expand the program to have a, a real impact. 
so that people see it as a deterrent and not as a, as a low-grade uh, attempt at, at uh, fixing some issues. The gaps in the border wall were also addressed. There's no security there, and what can we what can be done, which looks like uh, something that he's extremely, now that he's seen it, extremely focused on making sure that gets done soon. Nichols says he also spent time talking about fellow citizens who happen to be Border Patrol agents. We can really see how this is wearing on them and, and the morale and that uh, we are very supportive of them. We know the mayor has been a voice for Yuma Regional Medical Center and nonprofit organizations in town, which is why they also touched on the hospital's reimbursement for various medical services provided to migrants. Reporting in Yuma, Cody Lee, News 11. All right, thank you, Cody. And continuing our team coverage, Secretary Mayorkas is one of the many government officials to recently visit the border in the Yuma sector. And Adam Klepp continues this coverage with the current situation at the border. You're looking at one of the gaps in the Yuma sector border fence that the Department of Homeland Security and Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said in 2022 they're looking to close. But on the morning of Mayorkas' visit, no migrants crossing here. So it's unclear what type of effect closing this gap could have on lowering the number of legal crossings in our region as just three miles to the south of me. Many continue to use the Kokopa Reservation where there is no barrier as a means to enter the United States. Even with the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security in town, it was just another morning in the Yuma sector. This Border Patrol van, ultimately not enough. As a couple miles south of the gap, more immigrants cross into the United States. As this van leaves, the rest are left to wait for the next ride. Surrounded by the remnants of tens of thousands of immigrants who have come before them. This asylum seeker, talking with family back in Venezuela after he crossed into the United States, says he came here because of the poverty in his home country. We learned that the United States has a better quality of life, much better, opportunity to be stable in the United States. As Secretary Mayorkas becomes the latest in a list of prominent government figures to visit the wall in the Yuma sector, the crisis itself shows no signs of slowing down. In Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11. All right. Thank you, Adam, and thank you to all of our team coverage there from yesterday. Great stuff. Let's